Hello everybody, today I'm going to be making a video on the basics of some zero tick stuff. Going into instant repeaters, zero tick generators, and instant zero tick generators. First, we have this basic zero tick thing that everybody knows. It zero ticks this piston right here. The way this works is this block right here gets powered, therefore powering this block, but also, as you can see, I step a tick this piston will get updated because it's no longer being quasi powered which then therefore it'll start retracting this piston as you can see here and a zero tick pulse is created because this piston has been powered and depowered in the same tick as you can see if I step a single tick wait first I have to power it then I step a single tick instantly power that thing it's pretty nice the mod i am using for all of this freezing and unfreezing is carpet mod it's very helpful for tech mc things sticky pistons are the only piston that zero tick as you can see if i freeze the game zero tick both these pistons only one of them extends instantly this, see this piston right here, the normal piston, takes the normal three blocks to get here. Or not three blocks, three ticks. You are able to chain this instant repeater right here to be as long as you want, and it will still happen in the same amount of time. As you can see, this still got powered in a single tick. No matter how many you have in the line, it'll still get powered in a single tick. A better way to chain these is to use a system like this. It still works on the same premise of powering this block right here, which then powers this, which then makes this retract, which then zero takes this. See? Still happens in the same amount of time. Instantly. The problem with these is it doesn't zero tick the output piston. Just a normal piston extension and retraction. So then we have to move on to zero tick generators. That's what this system right here is, a zero tick generator. It works by powering this block, which then powers this piston, but also quasi powering this piston, which then depowers this piston, therefore zero ticking it. As you can see, if I freeze the game, Wait two ticks for this observer, it'll zero tick this piston. This system right here is bad because it's locational and directional. See, it doesn't work here. This system right here is similar to this system over here in the fact that it works one and two uses observers. But it's different because it's not locational or directional. It's also different because it's a two tick slower. As you can see here, I freeze the game, update the piston, one, two, see nothing happens, three, four, now it happens. That's because observers take one redstone tick or two game ticks. For the future of this video and for carpet mod, tick step is referring to game ticks, not redstone ticks. This is another system that zero ticks this output piston right here. It works by quasi powering this piston and also powering this piston, which makes it instantly spit out and zero ticks this top block. This one is technically one game tick slower because it uses an observer and a piston, which is one, two and one, two, three. And as we know from kindergarten, 2 plus 3 is 47, also known as 5. This right here is a zero tick generator, but it has a reset, which is pretty nice for storage tech contraptions and other things that you might want to have, like it powers when stuff comes in, but it doesn't power, it doesn't reset until things go out. Stuff like that. It's helpful. This one takes two, four ticks. The main problem with all these systems 
as you've heard, is I keep saying four ticks, five ticks, four ticks. It takes four ticks for this to happen, not one. That's what this system is over here. This is a instant zero tick generator. It works by pushing these two blocks, which makes it so this thinks that it's powered like this because this technically happens first. And then this piston also powers pushing this block forward which makes it so it depowers in the same tick. This note block is here because sometimes the top piston doesn't like to get updated if you power it from above. This system here is a single edge zero tick generator. See, on the rising edge, we have the zero tick, but on the falling edge, we just have a reset. That's why this system right here is arguably better, but it's also bigger. Rising edge, falling edge. Rising edge, falling edge. It works by extending this right here with a slime block, which makes it so that on the extension, it zero takes like the normal, and it also retracts with the zero tick as well. This right here, you have to have a dust redirection thing so that it doesn't just power this piston, which would make it so this sticky piston with the redstone block doesn't get updated, which, as you can see, makes it so there's no zero ticks. So you just have to have some type of dust redirection here. Some Most of the time, I either use a button on a block or a target block. As you can see, it works. I don't know. All, you could use any type of dust redirection. You could use a jukebox, because that's a new thing. If you're feeling rather zesty. Zero ticks allow you to do crazy things, like make this door right here happen instantly. If I freeze the game, power this. These blocks technically teleport here. It's a cringe door, I know, but it's cool. It's good for a demonstration. If I freeze it again, depower it, the retraction or opening of this door takes a bit longer. As you can see here, we use that dual edge system for zero ticks and a bunch of other nonsense. Like, oh, see, there's a zero tick gen. There's a zero tick gen. There's a weird zero tick gen. Oh, there's some block event delay things. Zero tick repeater. That's pretty much a wrap on basic zero ticks and zero tick generators. In the next video, I will go into block event delay, which allows zero ticks to happen at different times in the same tick, which is mind boggling. Um, I will also go into zero tick repeaters. So basically it takes a zero tick and it repeats the signal. If you enjoyed this video, drop it a like, drop it a sub, drop me a comment on how utterly bad it was and everything I got wrong. So I'll make sure to say thank you and never create a video again. Main thing is, hope you have a beautiful rest of your day or night. I don't know, this sun is pretty cool. See ya. Bye.